Welcome back to the Stubbins Garage YouTube channel. I'm Bill. This is my 2011 Cadillac CTS V Coupe. And today I'm going to do kind of a quick project. I thought I'd take you along. So I have an air raid intake on this. I've had this since I got the car. Uh, somebody at one point made these emblems uh, that they're like a, just a stick on thing. Um, this is the old style Cadillac badge and I am running my custom badges. So I want to make one of these that will actually match. So what I'm going to do um, is take some dimensions and a picture. And then once I have that, we're going to go over to Fusion 360 and make this part. And then we're going to cover it in epoxy and then we're going to install it. All right, so what I want to do is I want to get a good dimension on how wide this is. And so this is around 88. So we're going to use that to actually scale the picture in Fusion 360 as our canvas. And then um, we'll make that, that oval shape and then we'll lay the V uh, over that. And then we're going to throw it on the bamboo X1 carbon to print this. So let's go ahead and take that dimension and I'm gonna grab a picture and we're gonna go down to my computer and take care of this. So here we are in Fusion 360, which is my tool of choice for CAD design. We're gonna go ahead and create a new component and just call it V Air Raid logo. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the picture, uh, the canvas that I took earlier out in the garage. We're gonna insert that onto our workspace so that we can get some idea of laying out the uh, ellipse which is going to be the kind of oval shaped piece that we're going to need we don't really need this canvas to do that because we know the dimensions but this will just make things a little bit more visual for everyone watching the video so right now i'm just kind of getting the canvas where i want it to be in the workspace and then i'm trying to get it uh, the angle just right that way everything that I put in here is kind of straight with what we're doing Now we're gonna go ahead and create this ellipse. We're gonna start at the middle We're gonna stretch it out and then we're gonna do two dimensions One is the width and one is the height. So we want the width to be about 88 uh, Somewhere in there. I think it was 88.2 in the actual measurement But we have a little bit of room to play with 0.2 millimeters isn't that much So we're gonna take those two points. I'm gonna type in 88.21 and then we're going to go and we're going to actually dimension the top and the bottom so that the height is correct and so from there I'm going to type that in and I think we end up with around 37 uh, and that looks good to me. So once we're done, we finish the sketch. Now we have a drawing that we can work from. I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this. 0.6 millimeters is what we're gonna be using because that's the thickness of the part that we're going to make. So if I kind of turn the canvas, you can see it has some thickness to it now and we don't need that canvas anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And now there's our part. And what we need to do next is put our V design onto this part so that we can lay out all the different pieces and then finally we'll send that over to Bamboo Studio. So now that we've got this on the canvas, I'm just trying to kind of get it sized what I think looks good. And I uh, probably should have made the background black so you could see it a little better, but um, that's our V logo. And what we'll do here, um, I've inserted the timeline of me working on it because it took me a little bit to do it. Um, but basically what I'm doing is extruding um, each of the parts separately. That way we have a body for each one. And then when we get into Bamboo Studio, we can actually assign each of those a different color. And so I also elected to put an outline around this so that we had kind of a stroke for it. Um, so there's all the different colors that we're going to be adding that's custom to mine and then we're going to send that to bamboo and From there we can do a couple things in bamboo studio to make it a proper print 
and as you can see the colors are messed up so I need to go in and actually adjust the colors I'm gonna just do this here because I find this the easiest and it'll start to take shape here in a second I've got to add a couple more filament colors and once I do that uh, then we will have the colors that match my badging Now we're going to merge everything together and then we're going to lay it on its face. That way we can print it face down and get a smooth finish. And here's a quick time lapse. It was really a quick print, so it didn't take long. All right, well, let's take a look at this. This is uh, really thin by design. Um, we're going to actually have it flipped up the other way and then coat it with a layer of epoxy. So, um, so you can't really tell much by looking at it here. This is a smooth plate, so it'll be smooth. And then once we put the epoxy on it, it should look fantastic. Let me go ahead and get this off the build plate. And there's what it looks like before the epoxy. That's a fantastic result for me. So let's go ahead and clean that up and get some epoxy on it. Okay, I went ahead and added some 3M tape that's super thin. Here's our part. Looking good. Let's go ahead and get the epoxy on it. So our next order of business is going to be removing this old badge. I have a plastic razor blade and we're just going to kind of peel that up and remove any residue. One quick way to get off some of this residue is just to use some duct tape and it actually will pull that residue right off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this where I think it looks symmetric, which looks to be right about here. Press that in place. So that was a pretty simple and inexpensive way to add some, some flair to the air raid. I really like that it matches my badges now and I'm really happy that I got it sized correctly the first time. It looks fantastic. Let me know what you think. Would you have done a different color? You know my badges come in a bunch of colors. Maybe we'll do some other ones in the future. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.